Okay, I don't, you don't mind if I wear my sunglasses. Of course you don't. So you want to see how to make a hand squeezed margarita here? Yeah, we actually wanted before we get started, maybe just give us a little history of uh, you know of the tequila, the base you brought to all of us. Well, when I first opened the Cabo Wobble, I built this place. It's all dirt roads. There was nobody in Cabo, in Cabo Mexico, in Cabo San Lucas, uh, Baja, Mexico, and it was just a, a desert town. So I got bored. My friend said, uh, "Let's go to Guadalajara and let's go taste tequilas." He introduced me to pure, 100% agave, you know, handmade tequilas, and it changed my life. When you drink any tequila, the first thing you want to do is to try a little bit of salt. Just once. There's a reason for it because salt really sets your palate up, but it really helps. And then that first taste is so sweet, you're going, wow. And it just sets the whole night up. But as far as the margarita goes, I like to use Blanco. I don't mind a Reposado. I don't ever use a Yeho. I think it's a waste. This is an expensive product. This is, is people go through a lot of time and effort. Uh, to make a great añejo like that and, and taste it in the barrel to make sure it comes out when it's ready so that you well, you want to drink that out of a brandy sniffer. You know? right. This is like really the, the, the fancy yeah. one if, you, wine if you need one. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I like to make margaritas out of this or this. This to me is a premium margarita because this has been tamed down by wood. This has been really mellowed even more by wood. But this is pure tequila and I'm really a fan of Blanco now. And I like to chill them all. This here I'd have warmer. This here I'd have a little colder. This I would have even in the freezer nice. if I was going to drink it straight. So put Blanco in the freezer. That's a yeah. great tip. So start with, I would measure this, but I kind of know what I'm doing here. So if you did about three limes like this, the idea is you use equal parts lime to simple syrup. When I say simple syrup, in this case we're using Contro or Gramignet or Triple Sec or just agave syrup right. and water. So the next thing you do is you do about equal parts of uh, like a Grand Beignet. So we'll go one. I like them a little sweeter. Uh, that's what the salt's for, is to make them taste sweeter. If you use enough salt, you, could, you don't have to have it quite as sweet. I use a little, I'll show you what I do. I'll show you what I do. Okay, now you, you kind of double that with, with tequila, but whatever your. So you got one part lime, one part Contro, or yeah. you could use. And then one and a half to two times tequila. Nice. Because it's early, let's just go one and a half. Let's just do one of You guys are going to put me in rehab. Man. <laughs> Actually, that should have been ice first. <laughs> That's all right. It don't it's matter. Early, that man. has it's nothing early. to do with it's nothing. the first one of the day. But the way I like to do it is like this. You want to use a lot of ice because quite honestly, like that's the idea of a blended margarita that tastes so good. You know, they taste awesome, but you know, it's kind of a lady's drink as far as I'm concerned. And then here's what I like to do. I like to put just a, a quarter teaspoon per drink of agave nectar. Yeah. This is the best sweetener there is. Second to this, I would use either a really light tasting honey, not like one of them heavy honeys, right. either light honey or raw brown sugar. Brown sugar. You know, yeah. it works. Okay, now I hope this open didn't have this too full. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And the ideal shake is a 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Just, yeah, there you go. You gotta hit it on something. Why you gotta have to do that, I do not know. But I like to leave it sit for a second. You know, you don't. Like I say, life ain't about no hurry. Okay? I like that. So like this. I like to put a kiss on the side, like this. That's about all the salt you need. Just a little kiss. For a good margarita. You do not need that. And then we just pour it straight up. I might have hit it. Watch this. Perfect. Pour. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You, that's not bad for a guy that's that sings for a living. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Let's see what this tastes like. Now, same thing. What's the right way to hold this big old I would glass, put the man? uh, manly. Okay, you just grab it, man. Grab it, man. Huh? Come on. I hate to brag. Mm. That's a damn good cocktail, right? Mm. That is good. Oof. Look at that baby.